Hey guys, this is Sura Soni and you are watching Camstar. So friends, once again, welcome back on Camstar. So friends, in today's session, I am going to discuss with you what is bone fusion. Along with that, we will see what are the examples of bone fusion and we will also see what are their different types. So before starting today's session, as you can see here on the screen, it's my introduction. So let's begin today's session. So friends, let's try to understand first what is bone fusion. All right. So let's start. In any chemical reaction, when a reactant is converted into product, one or more bond in the reactants are broken and new bonds are formed. So friends, as we know, when any chemical reactions takes place, what exactly happens in the chemical reactions? Reactants are getting converted into the product. How reactants are getting converted into the products? The bond in the elements of reactants are broken and different new bonds are formed. That is called a product. All right. So that is written here in any chemical reaction when a, when a reactant is converted into product one or more bond in the reactants are broken and new bonds are formed now new bond formed chemical compound is called the product all right so next next point is the process of breaking or cleavage of covalent bond is known as bond fusion so such process in which bond breaking takes place Covalent bond breaking, breaking takes place. That type of process is called as bond fusion. All right. So let's take an example here. So consider a reaction R dash X plus Y minus is a reactant, and when it reacts, it gives R dash Y plus X minus. So here we can see X bond between the R and X gets broken and new bonds between the r and y gets formed all right so in this reaction c dash x bond breaks and new bond formed is c dash y all right so let's see what are the different ways in which the bond fusion takes place now we are going to see how what are the what are the different types by which ways the bond formation takes place so the bond fusion takes place in two ways first is hemolytic bond fusion and second is heterolytic bond fusion so friends in this session till here in next session in next session i will discuss what is hemolytic bond fusion in detail all right so thank you very much for watching this video till end thanks again